Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials. In today's video, we're going to show you how to share a file in Dropbox. We're going to show you how to do it on a PC and on a Mac, and I'm going to kind of hint about how to do it on a mobile device, but you can do that from any of those devices. Now, in an earlier video, I have shown you how to share a file in OneDrive, and there's a link to that file right there in the upper right-hand corner, and you can take a look at that if you wish. Another cloud sharing service that I use all the time is Dropbox. And I'll tell you why I use Dropbox. Number one, Dropbox is the granddaddy of all file sharing services. They have the most mature interface of any of the file sharing services, although the others are starting to catch up pretty quickly. I'm going to have other videos out on how to share a file in Google Drive, and then I'm going to put another one out on the various cloud sharing services and the pros and cons of each, so stay tuned for those in a future video. Another reason I like Dropbox is because it is fast. I have a computer right here in my studio. I'm sitting here looking at it right now, and I can share a file on that computer, and then I can go back to my office, and by the time I get to my office, that file is already on that computer. It synchronizes, and it is fast. I have had delay problems with pretty much every other file sharing service. Another reason I like the Dropbox application cloud sharing service is it's free. You can get two gigabytes of storage for free. And if you share Dropbox with other people, you can up that by 500 megabytes per share up to maybe 19 gigabytes you can share, which is even more than you get for free with Google Drive. But that's a different video and we're not going to get into that now. Another reason I like it is that you are able to synchronize your folders from your computer to the Dropbox cloud. And then on your computer, you can say, make this online only, which means the file is no longer stored on your computer, but it is in the cloud. And on your computer, you can see the file name, you can see the size of it, you can see all of the information, the metadata about that file, but it doesn't take up storage room on your hard drive. One final reason that I really like the Dropbox platform is that they give you a 30-day rolling backup of all of your files. They're not the only file sharing service, cloud service, that does this, but they have been doing it since I started using them back when they very first got started. I thought it was more than 20 years ago, but I looked it up and they started less than 20 years ago, I think. But you can look that up if you want to. But I've started with Dropbox back in the very beginning when they were very first getting started. And they had a 30-day rolling backup at that time. And what happened, let me share this with you, is that I kept my password keeper program in my Dropbox synchronized folder. I did this mainly because I wanted to have it on my computer and I also wanted to have it on my phone so that like, for example, when I go into a hotel and I'm checking in and it's a, for example, a choice hotel or a holiday inn or whatever, and they say, well, what's your member number? I could just haul out my phone and look at that and look up the member number on my password keeper program on my phone and it has been synchronized from my computer and it was right there. But what happened was one day I was accessing my database of passwords and everything in my computer and the database got corrupted. Now I keep my whole life in this password keeper database and for this password keeper database to get corrupted it's like, oh, what am I going to do? And then I remembered they have the 30 day rolling backup. So all I did was I logged onto my Dropbox account on their web interface and I said, here's the file. I want an earlier version of this file. And I went back to actually it was just at that time yesterday. I knew it was a good file then. So I restored it from that and I had all of my passwords back. And so I was so glad they had that 30 day rolling backup. Let's get started and let me tell you how to share a file that you put in a Dropbox folder with other people. And that's the main purpose of this video. Of course, the very first thing you have to do is sign up for a Dropbox account. You need to go to www.dropbox.com and just follow the instructions there and establish an account with Dropbox. 
Keep a note of your login credentials, your username and your password, and you can sign up either for the free account, which is two gigabytes, or I have decided that I do a lot of videos that need to be synchronized between multiple computers, so I signed up for one of their premium accounts. Cost me, I believe, $120 for a year, and it gives me two terabytes of cloud storage that I can synchronize among any number of devices. So anyway, you sign up for an account. Then the next thing you do is you go over to your computer and you set up a Dropbox folder. Um, on a Mac, they will do it for you when you install the app on a PC. It's good to set it up a Dropbox folder before you start. You can call it anything you want to, but I would suggest call it Dropbox. In any case, set it up on your computer and then the next thing to do whether you're on a PC, you're on a Mac or on a mobile device, you then install the Dropbox app for that device. Once you have installed the app, you will be able to set it to synchronize to a certain folder or set of folders on your PC. It will basically synchronize to one folder and then any number of folders that you put inside that folder, it will synchronize those as well. So I'm talking mostly about PCs because that's where I grew up on computers is on PCs, but I now also am working on Macs just so I can share with you how to do things on a Mac. But on a PC, when you install the Dropbox app, it'll say, what folder do you want to synchronize in? If you've already set up your Dropbox folder, you say that one. Okay. And once you have that done, you can then take any other folders that you have on any of your hard drives and drag move them into your Dropbox folder. Once you do that, everything in all of those folders will be synchronized to your Dropbox account. Now, if all you have is documents, any you know, text files, Word files, Excel documents, you probably don't have to worry about storage limits, even with a free account with only two gigabytes. But if you store a lot of photographs, especially if you get into audios and videos, which is photographs and audio together, you will probably want to be careful how much space you use and whether you want to sign up for a premium account with a whole bunch of storage. Once your Dropbox app is installed and it is synchronizing to the cloud, go to one of the folders in your Dropbox app and look to see if it has a green check mark next to the files. If the green check mark is there, that indicates that file is synchronized to the cloud. <clears throat> one of the things I suggest you do is to right click on one of these files that is in your Dropbox folder that has a green check mark next to it and just look down on the context menu and you will be able to see all of the options you have for sharing with Dropbox and doing other things with Dropbox. For example, free up space on this hard drive or keep it online only or keep it always on this device. You will be able to see that in that context menu. Now, to share a file from Dropbox on a PC, all you have to do is find the file you want to share, you right click on it, and that will bring up the context menu. And on this menu, you select share. When you click on share, this will bring up the sharing dialog box. Once you see this sharing dialog, you can see it usually defaults to can edit, but just about always, I will change this to can view because I don't want anybody else to edit my files. If they can edit the files, they can also delete the files and I don't want them to delete my files. So I just about always change it to can view only. Once you have done this, you can enter an email address for somebody you want to share it to or multiple people. I believe you separate email addresses with a comma and uh, Dropbox will send a sharing link to that person. However, that is not my preference because I don't want my correspondence email addresses to be in their system. You never can tell. There's been so many computer breaches and breaks that I just don't want my correspondence email addresses to be out there in the system that somebody else could get to. So I will copy the link and I will paste it into an email address myself. Now I've copied this link and I'm going to go ahead and paste it right into this text document so that I can compare the links from the various platforms and show you that they are the same link. To share a file on a Mac, it's pretty much the same thing. You just locate the file you want to share in Finder and you can see there is a green check mark, a checkbox 
out to the right of that file listing if it is synchronized to the cloud. And if it is, you can right click on it. And if you don't have a mouse with a right button, then you might consider getting one. <laughs> That's just my opinion. But you right click on it and you can see right down in the context menu, all of the Dropbox options have the Dropbox icon right next to them. You click on share and you just follow the directions there. You could click on copy the link and that's ready to go. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it right into that text document right now. And you can see that it's the same link as I got on the PC. Once you get to the share dialog on the Mac, you can explore your settings options where you can control access to this file, the shared file. You can set an expiration date on the sharing or you can disable download. Somebody can only read it online, but they cannot download it. If you change any of these settings, be sure to save the settings before you exit that. And then you can go ahead and copy the link or send the link to somebody else. Now to share the links on a mobile device, I'll tell you right now, my eyes are so bad that I really can't see a mobile device very well, but you can install the Dropbox app on your mobile device. You launch the Dropbox app. You can find the file in your Dropbox folders on that app and you click on the three dots next to it and one of the items will be share and you can share it from there and i'm going to leave that up to you but basically that's all there is to it for sharing a file from dropbox on your pc on your mac on your mobile device thanks so much for watching i appreciate every person who's watching this video please give me that thumbs up so let the youtube robots know that you thought this was a good video and they will then recommend it to other people and also encourage me to make more videos also be sure if you're not a subscriber to go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell icon so YouTube will let you know whenever I post another video here. Leave me a comment down in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for sharing and have yourself an absolutely wonderful day. Take care everybody.